Hi, my name is Bruvi Doshi and I am going to give a presentation on the electric vehicles. Are they the future of mobility? Okay, so first let's see what is an EV? What is an electric vehicle? So an electric vehicle is basically a vehicle that runs on electricity alone. And it does not contain an internal combustion engine. So like it doesn't use petrol or diesel or anything like that. It is operated by an electric motor, which draws electricity from a battery, which can be recharged from time to time. Then next week, let's see what is Ola Electric. So Ola Electric is an electric, uh, an Indian electric two-wheeler manufacturer, which is based in Bangalore. So uh, it entered the e-vehicle market on 15th August 2021 and revolutionized the image and the position of electric wheeler, uh, two-wheeler space in India. But however, the performance that they promised was too ambitious, but still uh, Ola S1 Pro, which is their product, has the highest value in EV market in India. So, okay, so is beta is Ola S1 Pro is the only electric vehicle Ola is providing? Uh, no, there is uh, there is one more uh, like there are many uh, electric vehicles like they have a range of vehicles that they are providing. But Ola S1 Pro is their uh, most selling vehicle. Most selling vehicle. Uh, beta, have you researched on the same? There are two electric vehicles which Ola is providing. One is Ola S1 and one is Ola S1 Pro. Okay, when he entered in the market, he started with Ola S1 only. Okay, he started with Ola S1. Ke Chali, start. Kariye. Very sorry for interrupt. Go it's ahead. okay, sir. Uh, so now let's see what makes Ola S1 Pro an extraordinary product. So what makes it different from its competitors, which are Aether 450X and Simple Energy. So these two are like other uh, manufacturers of electric vehicles. But what makes Ola S1 Pro different? It is more cost effective than the other competitors. Like it is uh, more, it is more cost effective then it has more features than any other electric scooter which is present in India currently. And it has higher top speed and driving range than any other uh, electric scooter. And then it is very comfortable and user friendly. And it has a wider, uh, wider seat and more under seat storage capacity. And there are not just these points, there are many other points that make it unique and extraordinary. But still, uh, despite so much positivity that it has, it has some serious issues that are bothering the people and the potential customers of Ola Electric. And they are making the customers doubt Ola's product. So let's take a look at these issues and some points that could be possible solutions to these issues. So the first problem is uh, that there are temperature issues. So, this scooter was initially designed for Dutch citizens and it is modified according to their cold weather and it's failing in Indian weather conditions. So as we all know, India has uh, extreme heat and then the cold weather is fine, but it has it also has rains. Like we have floods and water logging everywhere. And our roads are also uh, uh, uneven, like most of the roads in so there is a solution to this, according to me. We can modify the vehicle in that way that is suitable for India's climatic conditions. And we can add a mode of proper ventilation to the design. So uh, previously, uh, Ola the Ola S1 Pro didn't have proper mode of ventilation. So the vehicle was getting heated up. So for that, uh, to avoid that, we can add a mode of proper ventilation to the design of the scooter. Okay, uh, so as you said uh, that uh, this scooters are more prone for the Dutchy conditions where the template, uh, where the temperature is way cooler than the temperature in the India's right. But still in India, there are certain, uh, you know, cities where the uh, temperature fluctuation are not that much. That means the temperature won't go that much high or won't go that much less. So can we use these scooter at that place? 
yes we can use it but uh, the changing weather conditions like for now the current uh, conditions is that there is global warming and there is a lot of uh, weather change and all that so uh, if we uh, just mo modify it and give one model for uh, the whole country then it will be easier for everyone and it will be more convenient okay chali let's go for another problems yes so the next problem is defective or broken scooters so uh, ola electric taking inspiration from tesla they decided to uh, deliver the vehicle to the doorsteps of customers but in this process of distribution this didn't suit the indian conditions and the scooters were found to be broken at the spot of delivery so like uh, we know that there are so many uh, construction working potholes so many things in the indian roads that uh, are like uneven roads and all that so due to this the transportation during the transportation the vehicles were broken or defected so what could be the solution to this so the solution will be instead of delivering the vehicle to the customer's doorstep we can open showrooms we can open showrooms for when customers can pick up their vehicles showrooms or distribution centers this will also allow the customers to try and test the product before buying it so they will have their assurance that what they are buying is a good product and then it will be a good way to attract more uh, customers because when the uh, when the showroom is there people are looking at it and uh, it is kind of okay some, uh, uh, has, uh, is this solution cost effective kya ye solution cost effective hai isn't it economically wrong to uh, play different showroom because uh, having a showroom itself is very expensive and if we are uh, op if ola is doing that that he was opening so many showroom in just in order to uh, sell his uh, products isn't it a cost effective kya wo ek cost effective solution hai um it won't be that cost effective but beta uh, if you are going for a uh, opening a showroom na it will cost a lot it was already very expensive thing right and if uh, uh, you are selling such a big products uh, ola in two days he booked 1 lakh bikes to so, agar aap un 1 lakh bikes ke liye showroom kholenge to aapko bahut zyada jagah chahiye and it's already way too expensive right to so, fir wo kaise accommodate ho payega is solution ke sath right so uska problem ka solution aapko batana padega theek hai definitely it is a solution ठीक है, बट क्या वो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है राइट चलिए लेट्स मूव अहेड। ओके, सो द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम वाज दैट द प्रॉमिसेस वर नॉट डिलीवर्ड। सो द सीईओ ड्यूरिंग द लॉन्च ऑफ द ओला द सीईओ भाविश अग्रवाल शोड सो मेनी ड्रीम्स टू द इंडियन कस्टमर्स एंड इट ही मेड अस ऑल बिलीव दैट द प्रोडक्ट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी डिलीवर्ड इज गोइंग टू बी अग प्रोडक्ट and it has never been introduced to the auto, auto market but when the customers got their products they said that uh, many features were missing and replying to this ola electric said that the missing features will be available to all the users via the ota update so there is a simple solution that staying true to the ceo's word the ota updates we uh, we should send the ota updates timely to all of the customers but along with the update we should send them tutorials on how to start the update so that uh, it is convenient for all of the customers and everyone knows how to do how to start the update okay good chali let's move ahead yeah uh, and the last problem is delivery cancellation the ola s1 is nowhere near to see in the market and those who have chosen the ola s1 at the time of booking are being asked to transfer their order to s1 pro instead of booking the ola s1 so this shows that the company was uh, uncertain about the number of products that were being manufactured so a solution to this will be that we should work one month ahead of manufacturing so if 
uh, a number of products are being manufactured in this month so we have to take pre bookings only uh, up till that number and we shouldn't overbook the orders and after the after the pre booking is done according to that number of product that way we can deliver the products to the respective uh, showrooms or the respective customers and avoid the overbooking and uh, this will be easier for them and instead of having okay uh, while you are manufacturing your product what if someone come up with a, a you know more amazing idea or more effective electric vehicle then your manufactured items will be like this only have you charged someone to book the vehicle आप चार्ज करेंगे क्या अगर एक इंसान को एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल ओला का बुक करना है क्या उसे मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट देनी पड़ेगी नो बट दे हैव टू गिव अ स्मॉल प्री बुकिंग कॉस्ट एंड देन व्हेन दे लाइक व्हेन द ऑर्डर इज रेडी एंड इट इज बीइंग डिलीवर्ड दैट्स व्हेन दे हैव टू पे ओके बट ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड आपने कहा वन मंथ अहेड हम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करेंगे बट ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड मार्केट में एक अलग कंपटीटर आ जाता है विद अ you know more uh, great uh, more effective electric vehicles and peep, uh, wo convince kar leta hai logo ko ki ha hamare electric vehicle acche hain and people shifted to them because unhone aapko to thodi si amount di hai aur wo unhe haath to haath apna electric vehicle provide karwa raha hai why people want to go to them aur wo aapke paas aayenge because of our previous performance is that we have uh, done good work and we have assured the customers that our product is nice and it is worth their money the, that's what i am saying that that person is already convinced them ki hum kar rahe the aur hum abhi bhi karenge like a company like honda for an example agar honda ek electric vehicle ke sath aata hai uska bahut acha market value hai right wo kab kab se same field mein hai kyun people us pe believe nahi karenge definitely karenge na तो फिर वो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग जो आपने कर ली प्री बुकिंग लेके वो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैसे अकोमोडेट होगी आपके पास एक्स्ट्रा व्हीकल पड़े रहेंगे आप अगर एक्स्ट्रा व्हीकल रखेंगे तो वो एक्स्ट्रा व्हीकल रखने की जगह आपको चाहिएगी उस जगह का आप पैसा देंगे देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स जो एक बार में याद होनी चाहिए चलिए वेरी गुड बेटा आपका प्रेजेंटेशन वॉज नाइस आपका आगे भी है स्लाइड इट इज जस्ट दैंक यू स्लाइड ओके चलिए वेरी वेरी गुड यू कैन स्टॉप शेयरिंग योर स्क्रीन योर प्रेजेंटेशन वाज नाइस ठीक है थैंक यू सर